there was no round dancing as I remember whatsoever. And you had one of these old fellows with loud mouth a call in the square dance, you know. And uh, why they could hear it all over the community, you know. And of course they had to have the white lightning. Had a half a gallon of sitting all around till everybody got too much. Then we had a fiddle player up here, Willard Hampton, and he'd get too much pretty quick. So that sort of screwed the squire dancing up, you know. So we had they tried to keep him off of it as much as they could. But the Squire dance wasn't a squire dance unless you had your white light. Yeah, about most all the people of the morning, that's the first thing they'd do uh, when they got up before breakfast. They'd sit down and drink them a glass of moonshine first. Huh? Yeah, start the day off that way. Mm -hmm. Old man D. Anderson, Ruby's grandpa, that's a, yeah. So that's the way they grow it up, right? You know, years ago that was part of our heritage, but they ain't nobody does it no more. And if they do, it's just hobbies, you know, because, yeah. or either they don't trust what's in, the, what's in them store-bought bottles. <laughs> and, uh, used to, people made liquor out of, you know, just pure corn. They didn't have no sugars or nothing, you know, put in it. And it's hard. You probably wouldn't get a gallon of liquor out of a bushel of corn, you know. That's, that's some rough living. Then yeah. if somebody, somebody told me one time, it's a fella, had a Newport, Tennessee, and they started putting sugar in it, and they started working it off faster. And, uh, you know, and that's how the sugar got started in liquor making. That's the way I understood it. Now, I believe that's about right. And a lot of people, you know, further malts and stuff, malts and yeasts and stuff. Some people sprouts corn, and, you know. And, and there's many tales about people making liquor of car batteries and, you know, and, <laughs> soap and everything else. A lot of people put soap and stuff in it, you know, like it had a good bead. But if it, if that thing foam up on the darn top of it and lay up there, somebody's put soap in it or, like you say, bead and all. But good liquor, when you shake, if it holds a good bead, it's all right. 